Attempts have been made to describe gauge theories in terms of extended objects such as Wilson loops and holonomies. The loop representation is a quantum Hamiltonian representation of gauge theories in terms of loops. The aim of the loop representation in the context of Yang-Mills theories is to avoid the redundancy introduced by Gauss gauge symmetries allowing to work directly in the space of physical states, Gauss gauge invariant states. The idea is well known in the context of lattice Yang-Mills theory, see lattice gauge theory. Attempts to explore the continuous loop representation was made by Gambini and Trias for canonical Yang-Mills theory. However, there were difficulties as they represented singular objects. As we shall see the loop formalism goes far beyond a simple gauge invariant description, in fact it is the natural geometrical framework to treat gauge theories and quantum gravity in terms of their fundamental physical excitations. The introduction by Ashtakar of a new set of variables, Ashtakar variables cast general relativity in the same language as gauge theories and allowed one to apply loop techniques as a natural nonperturbative description of Einstein's theory. In canonical quantum gravity the difficulties in using the continuous loop representation are cured by the spatial diffeomorphism invariance of general relativity. The loop representation also provides a natural solution of the spatial diffeomorphism constraint, making a connection between canonical quantum gravity and knot theory. Surprisingly there were a class of loop states that provided exact if only formal, solutions to Ashtakar's original ill-defined Wheeler-Jewett equation. Hence an infinite set of exact if only formal, solutions had been identified for all the equations of canonical quantum general gravity in this representation. This generated a lot of interest in the approach and eventually led to loop quantum gravity LQG. The loop representation has found application in mathematics. If topological quantum field theories are formulated in terms of loops, the resulting quantities should be what are known as not invariants. Topological field theories only involve a finite number of degrees of freedom and so are exactly solvable. As a result, they provide concrete computable expressions that are invariants of knots. This was precisely the insight of Edward Witten who noticed that computing loop-dependent quantities in Chern-Simons and other three-dimensional topological quantum field theories one could come up with explicit, analytic expressions for knot invariants. For his work in this, in 1990 he was awarded the Fields Medal. He is the first and so far the only physicist to be awarded the Fields Medal, often viewed as the greatest honor in mathematics. <laughs> Gauge invariance of Maxwell's theory The idea of gauge symmetries was introduced in Maxwell's theory. Maxwell's equations are E equals rho E zero times B minus E zero mu zero E T equals mu zero J times E plus B T equals zero B equals zero Display style nabla C D O T V E C E equals rho over epsilon underscore zero q quad nabla times V E C B epsilon underscore zero mu underscore zero partial V E C E over partial T equals mu underscore zero V E C J q quad nabla times V E C E plus partial V E C B over partial T equals zero q quad nabla C D O T V E C B equals zero where rho display style rho is the charge density and j display style vec j the current density the last two equations can be solved by writing fields in terms of a scalar potential phi display style phi and a vector potential a display style vec a E equals minus phi minus a 
T B equals times a display style vec e equals nabla phi partial vec a over partial t q quad vec b equals nabla times vec a. The potentials uniquely determine the fields, but the fields do not uniquely determine the potentials. We can make the changes phi equals phi plus lambda t a equals a minus lambda display style phi equals phi plus partial lambda over partial t q quad vec a equals vec a nabla lambda without affecting the electric and magnetic fields where lambda x t display style lambda vec x t is an arbitrary function of space time these are called gauge transformations there is an elegant relativistic notation the gauge field is a mu equals phi a display style a caret mu equals phi vec a and the above gauge transformations read a mu equals a mu plus mu lambda display style a caret mu equals a caret mu plus partial caret mu lambda the so called field strength tensor is introduced f mu nu equals mu a nu minus nu a mu display style f caret mu nu equals partial caret mu a caret nu partial caret nu a caret mu which is easily shown to be invariant under gauge transformations in components f 0 i equals e i e i j k f j k equals b i display style f caret 0 i equals e caret i q quad epsilon caret i j k f caret j k equals b caret i Maxwell's source-free action is given by S equals minus one two D four X F mu new F mu new Display style s equals one over two in d carrot four x big f underscore mu nu f carrot mu nu big. The ability to vary the gauge potential at different points in space and time by changing lambda x t display style lambda vec x t without changing the physics is called a local invariance. Electromagnetic theory possess the simplest kind of local gauge symmetry called U one display style U one C unitary group. A theory that displays local gauge invariance is called a gauge theory. In order to formulate other gauge theories, we turn the above reasoning inside out. This is the subject of the next section. Topic: The connection and gauges theories. Topic: The connection and Maxwell's theory. We know from quantum mechanics that if we replace the wave function psi x display style psi x describing the electron field by psi x equals exp 
I theta psi x display style psi x equals exp I theta psi x that it leaves physical predictions unchanged. We consider the imposition of local invariance on the phase of the electron field. Psi x equals omega psi x equals exp i theta x psi x display style psi x equals omega psi x equals exp i theta x psi x. The problem is that derivatives of psi x display style psi x are not covariant under this transformation mu exp i theta x psi x equals omega mu psi x plus mu omega psi x display style partial underscore mu exp i theta x psi x equals omega partial underscore mu psi x plus partial underscore mu omega psi x in order to cancel out the second unwanted term one introduces a new derivative operator d mu display style mathcal d underscore mu that is covariant to construct d mu display style mathcal d underscore mu one introduces a new field the connection a mu display style a underscore mu d mu equals mu plus i g a mu x display style mathcal d underscore mu equals partial underscore mu plus ego underscore mu x then d mu psi equals mu psi plus i g a mu psi equals omega mu psi plus omega psi plus i g a mu omega psi Display style mathcal d underscore mu psi equals partial underscore mu psi plus eager underscore mu psi equals omega partial underscore mu psi plus partial omega psi plus eager underscore mu omega psi. The term mu omega display style partial underscore mu omega is precisely cancelled out by requiring the connection field transforms as a mu x equals a mu x plus i g mu omega x omega minus 1 x e q 1 display style a underscore mu x equals a underscore mu x plus i over g partial underscore mu omega x omega caret minus 1 x quad e q 1 we then have that d mu psi equals omega d mu psi display style mathcal d underscore mu psi equals omega mathcal d underscore mu psi note that 
E Q one display style E Q one is equivalent to a mu x equals a mu x plus one G mu theta x display style a underscore mu x equals a underscore mu x plus one over G partial underscore mu theta x, which looks the same as a gauge transformation of the gauge potential of Maxwell's theory. It is possible to construct an invariant action for the connection field itself. We want an action that only has two derivatives, since actions with higher derivatives are not unitary. Define the quantity f mu nu equals minus i g d mu d mu equals minus i g mu plus i g a mu x nu plus i g a nu x Display style f underscore mu nu equals i over g mathcal t underscore mu mathcal t underscore mu equals i over g partial underscore mu plus eager underscore mu x partial underscore nu plus eager underscore nu x equals minus i g mu nu plus i G mu L nu minus nu L mu minus G two L mu L nu Display style equals I over G big partial underscore mu partial underscore nu plus I G partial underscore mu a underscore nu partial underscore nu a underscore mu G carrot two a underscore mu a underscore nu big equals mu a nu minus nu a nu Display style equals partial underscore mu a underscore new partial underscore new a underscore new. The unique action with only two derivatives is given by S equals minus one two D four X F mu new F mu new display style s equals frac one two in d carrot four x big f underscore mu new f carrot mu new big. Therefore, one can derive electromagnetic theory from arguments based solely on symmetry. Topic: The connection and Yang Mills gauge theory. We now generalize the above reasoning to general gauge groups. One begins with the generators of some Lie algebra. T I T J equals I F I J K T K Display style t underscore i t underscore j equals if carrot i j k t carrot k. Let there be a fermion field that transforms as psi omega carrot x psi x equals exp i theta i x T I 
psi x display style math bf psi mapsto hat omega x math bf psi x equals exp i theta caret i x t caret i math bf psi x again the derivatives of psi x display style math bf psi x are not covariant under this transformation we introduce a covariant derivative d mu equals i mu plus i g a mu x Display style Math BF Math call D underscore mu equals Math BF I partial underscore mu plus I G Math BF a underscore mu x with connection field given by a mu x equals a mu I x T I Display style math bf a underscore mu x equals a underscore mu carrot i x t carrot i. We require that a mu x display style math bf a underscore mu x transforms as a mu x equals omega carrot mu x omega carrot minus 1 plus i g omega carrot mu omega carrot minus 1 Display style Math BF R underscore mu x equals hat omega Math BF R underscore mu x hat omega carrot minus one plus I over G hat omega partial underscore mu hat omega carrot minus one. We define the field strength operator F mu nu equals minus I G D mu D nu equals mu a nu minus nu a mu plus i g a mu a nu equals mu a nu i minus nu a mu i plus g f i j k a mu j a New K T I Display style Math BF F underscore mu new equals I over G Math BF Math call D underscore mu Math BF Math call D underscore new equals partial underscore mu Math BF a underscore new partial underscore new Math BF a underscore mu plus I G Math BF a underscore mu Math BF a underscore new equals partial underscore mu a underscore new carrot I partial underscore new a underscore mu carrot I plus G F carrot I J K a underscore mu carrot J A underscore new carrot K T carrot I as D mu display style math B F math D underscore mu is covariant. This means that the F mu new I display style F underscore mu new carrot I Tensor is also covariant. F mu new F mu new equals 
omega carrot f mu nu omega carrot minus 1 Display style math BF F underscore mute new maps to math BF F underscore mute new equals hat omega math BF F underscore mute new hat omega carrot minus one note that F mu new display style math BF F underscore mute new is only invariant under gauge transformations if omega Carrot display style hat omega is a scalar that is only in the case of electromagnetism. We can now construct an invariant action out of this tensor. Again, we want an action that only has two derivatives. The simplest choice is the trace of the commutator. Tr omega carrot f mu nu omega carrot minus 1 omega carrot f mu nu omega carrot minus 1 equals tr f mu nu f mu New Display style operator name TR hat omega math BF F underscore mu new hat omega carrot minus one hat omega math BF F carrot mu new hat omega carrot minus one equals operator name TR math BF F underscore mu new math BF F carrot mu new The unique action with only two derivatives is given by S equals Minus one two D four X T R F mu new F mu new equals minus one two D four X T R F mu new I T J F J mu new T J Display style S equals one over two in D carrot four X T R Math B F F underscore mu new Math B F F carrot mu new equals one over two in D carrot four X operator name T R big F underscore mu new carrot I T carrot J F underscore J carrot mu new T carrot J big. This is the action for Yang Mills theory. Topic: The loop representation of the Maxwell theory. We consider a change of representation in the quantum Maxwell gauge theory. The idea is to introduce a basis of states labeled by loops. Gamma. Display style mid gamma wrangle. Whose inner product with the connection states is given by a gamma equals W gamma equals exp i e gamma d y alpha a alpha y Display style Langle A mid gamma wrangle equals W gamma equals EXP left IE in underscore gamma DY carrot alpha a underscore alpha Y right. The loop functional W gamma display style W gamma is the Wilson loop for the abelian U one display style U one case.
Topic: The loop representation of Yang-Mills theory. We consider for simplicity, and because later we will see this is the relevant gauge group in LQG and S U two. Display style SU two. Yang-Mills theory in four dimensions. The field variable of the continuous theory is an S U two. Display style SU two. Connection or gauge potential a mu i x display style a underscore mu carrot i x where i display style i is an index in the Lie algebra of S u two display style su two. We can write for this field. Mu x equals a mu i x tau i display style math bf a underscore mu x equals a underscore mu caret i x tau underscore i where tau i display style tau underscore i are there S U two display style su two generators that is the Pauli matrices multiplied by I two display style I two. Note that unlike with Maxwell's theory, the connections a mu x display style math bf a underscore mu x a matrix valued and don't commute, that is they are non-abelian gauge theories. We must take this into account when defining the corresponding version of the holonomy for S U 2 Yang-Mills theory. We first describe the quantum theory in terms of connection variable. Topic: The connection representation. In the connection representation, the configuration variable is a a i display style a underscore a caret i, and its conjugate momentum is the densitized triad e tilde i a. Display style tilde e underscore i caret a. It is most natural to consider wave functions psi a a i. Display style psi a underscore a caret i. This is known as the connection representation. The canonical variables get promoted to quantum operators a caret a. I psi a equals a a i psi a display style hat a underscore a caret i psi a equals a underscore a caret i psi a analogous to the position representation q caret psi q Equals q psi q display style hat q psi q equals q psi q and the triads are functional derivatives e tilde caret a i psi a equals minus i Delta psi a delta a a i display style hat tilde e underscore a carrot i psi a equals i delta psi a over delta a underscore a carrot i analogous to p carrot 
psi q equals minus i d psi q d q display style hat p psi q equals i d psi q over d q topic the holonomy in wilson loop Let us return to the classical Yang Mills theory. It is possible to encode the gauge invariant information of the theory in terms of backward loop like variables. We need the notion of a holonomy. A holonomy is a measure of how much the initial and final values of a spinner or vector differ after parallel transport around a closed loop. It is denoted H gamma a display style H underscore gamma a Knowledge of the holonomies is equivalent to knowledge of the connection, up to gauge equivalence. Holonomies can also be associated with an edge. Under a Gauss law, these transformers H E alpha beta equals U alpha gamma minus one X H E gamma sigma u sigma beta y display style h underscore e underscore alpha beta equals u underscore alpha gamma caret minus one x h underscore e underscore gamma sigma u underscore sigma beta y for a closed loop x equals Y display style x equals y. If we take the trace of this, that is putting alpha equals beta display style alpha equals beta, and summing we obtain h e alpha alpha equals u alpha gamma minus 1 x h e gamma sigma u sigma alpha x equals u sigma alpha x u alpha gamma Minus one x h e gamma sigma equals delta sigma gamma h e gamma sigma equals h e Gamma Gamma Display style H underscore E underscore alpha alpha equals U underscore alpha gamma carrot minus one X H underscore E underscore gamma sigma U underscore sigma alpha X equals U underscore sigma alpha X U underscore alpha gamma carrot minus one X H underscore E underscore gamma sigma equals delta underscore sigma gamma H underscore E underscore gamma sigma equals H underscore E underscore Gamma, gamma, or TR H gamma equals TR H gamma display style operator name TR H underscore gamma equals operator name TR H underscore gamma. Thus, the trace of an holonomy around a closed loop is gauge invariant. It is denoted W. Gamma a display style w underscore gamma a and is called a Wilson loop. The explicit form of the holonomy is H gamma a equals p exp minus gamma 
zero gamma one D S gamma A A A I gamma S T I Display style H underscore gamma R equals mathcal P E X P big in underscore gamma underscore zero carrot gamma underscore one D S dot gamma carrot A A underscore R carrot I gamma S T underscore I big where gamma Display style gamma is the curve along which the holonomy is evaluated and S Display style S is a parameter along the curve p display style mathcal p denotes path ordering meaning f actors for smaller values of s display style s appear to the left and t i display style t underscore i are matrices that satisfy the s u Two display style su two algebra t i t j equals two i e i j k t k Display style T carrot I T carrot J equals two I epsilon carrot I J K T carrot K. The Pauli matrices satisfy the above relation. It turns out that there are infinitely many more examples of sets of matrices that satisfy these relations, where each set comprises N plus one times N plus one Display style n plus one times n plus one matrices with n equals one two three display style n equals one two three dots and where none of these can be thought to backquote decompose into two or more examples of lower dimension they are called different irreducible representations of the s U two display style su two algebra. The most fundamental representation being the Pauli matrices. The holonomy is labeled by a half integer n two display style n two according to the irreducible representation used. Topic. Giles reconstruction theorem of gauge potentials from Wilson loops An important theorem about Yang Mills gauge theories is Giles' theorem, according to which if one gives the trace of the holonomy of a connection for all possible loops on a manifold, one can, in principle, reconstruct all the gauge invariant information of the connection. That is, Wilson loops constitute a basis of gauge invariant functions of the connection. This key result is the basis for the loop representation for gauge theories and gravity. Topic: The loop transform and the loop representation. The use of Wilson loops explicitly solves the Gauss gauge constraint. As Wilson loops form a basis, we can formally expand any Gauss gauge invariant function as psi equals gamma psi gamma w gamma a display style psi r equals sum underscore gamma psi gamma w underscore gamma a this is called the loop transform we can see the analogy with going to the momentum representation in quantum mechanics there one has a basis of states Exp i k x display style exp i k x labeled by a number k display style k and one expands 
psi x equals d k psi k e x p i k x Display style psi x equals int d k psi k e x b i k x, and works with the coefficients of the expansion psi k. Display style psi k. The inverse loop transform is defined by psi gamma equals d a psi a. W gamma a display style psi gamma equals int da psi a w underscore gamma a. This defines the loop representation. Given an operator o caret display style hat o in the connection representation phi a equals o Carrot psi a eq one display style phi a equals hat o psi a q quad text eq one. One should define the corresponding operator o carrot display style hat o on psi gamma display style psi gamma in the loop representation via phi gamma equals o caret psi gamma eq2 display style phi gamma equals hat o psi gamma q quad text eq2 where phi gamma display style phi gamma is defined by the usual inverse loop transform phi gamma equals d a phi a w gamma a eq3 Display style phi gamma equals int da phi a w underscore gamma a q quad text eq three. A transformation formula giving the action of the operator o caret display style hat o on psi gamma display style psi gamma in terms of the action of the operator o carrot display style hat o on psi a display style psi a is then obtained by equating the rhs of e q 2 display style eq 2 with the rhs of e q 3 Display style eq three with e q one display style eq one substituted into e q three display style eq three, namely o caret psi gamma equals D A W Gamma A O carrot psi Display style hat O psi gamma equals int da W underscore gamma a hat O psi a or O carrot psi gamma equals D A O carrot W gamma a psi display style hat O psi gamma 
equals in da hat o carrot dagger w underscore gamma a psi a whereby o carrot display style hat o carrot dagger we mean the operator o carrot display style hat o but with the reverse factor ordering remember from simple quantum mechanics where the product of operators is reversed under conjugation we evaluate the action of this operator on the Wilson loop as a calculation in the connection representation and rearranging the result as a manipulation purely in terms of loops one should remember that when considering the action on the Wilson loop one should choose the operator one wishes to transform with the opposite factor ordering to the one chosen for its action on wave functions psi a display style psi a topic the loop representation of quantum gravity topic <laughs> ashtakar barbero variables of canonical quantum gravity The introduction of Ashtakar variables cast general relativity in the same language as gauge theories. It was in particular the inability to have good control over the space of solutions to the Gauss law and spatial diffeomorphism constraints that led Rovelli and Smolin to consider a new representation, the loop representation, to handle the spatial diffeomorphism constraint we need to go over to the loop representation. The above reasoning gives the physical meaning of the operator O Carrot display style hat o. For example, if o carrot display style hat o carrot dagger corresponded to a spatial diffeomorphism, then this can be thought of as keeping the connection field display style a of w gamma. Display style w underscore gamma a, where it is while performing a spatial diffeomorphism on gamma. Display style gamma instead. Therefore, the meaning of o caret display style hat o is a spatial diffeomorphism on gamma. Display style gamma. The argument of psi gamma display style psi gamma in the loop representation we can then solve the spatial diffeomorphism constraint by considering functions of loops psi gamma display style psi gamma that are invariant under spatial diffeomorphisms of the loop gamma display style gamma that is, we construct what mathematicians call knot invariance. It's opened up an unexpected connection between knot theory and quantum gravity. The loop representation and eigenfunctions of geometric quantum operators The easiest geometric quantity is the area. Let us choose coordinates so that the surface sigma Display style sigma is characterized by x three equals zero. Display style x caret three equals zero. The area of small parallelogram of the surface sigma display style sigma is the product of length of each side times sin theta. Display style sin theta, where theta display style theta is the angle between the sides. Say one edge is given by the vector u display style vec u, and the other by v display style vec v, then a equals U V sin theta equals U 
2 v 2 1 minus cos 2 theta equals u2 v2 minus uv2 display style begin aligned r and equals vec u vec v sin theta equals sqrt vec u caret 2 vec v caret 2 1 cos caret 2 theta 6 pt and equals sqrt vec u caret 2 vec v caret 2 vec u cdot vec v caret 2 n aligned from this we get the area of the surface sigma display style sigma to be given by a sigma equals sigma dx1 d x2 det q2 display style a underscore sigma equals int underscore sigma dx caret 1 dx caret 2 sqrt det q caret 2 where det q Two equals Q eleven Q twenty two minus Q twelve two Display style debt Q carrot two equals Q underscore eleven Q underscore twenty two Q underscore twelve carrot two and is the determinant of the metric induced on Sigma Display style sigma. This can be rewritten as det q two equals e three a b e three c d q a c q b c two. Display style debt q carrot two equals epsilon carrot three ab epsilon carrot three candelas q underscore a c q underscore b c over two. The standard formula for an inverse matrix is q a b equals e b c d e a e f Q C E Q D F two debt Q display style Q carrot ab equals epsilon carrot B C D epsilon carrot A E F Q underscore C E Q underscore D F over two debt Q. Note the similarity between this and the expression for debt Q Two. Display style dead q carrot two. But in Ashtakar variables we have e tilde i a e tilde b i equals dead q q a b. Display style tilde e underscore i carrot a tilde e carrot by equals debt q q carrot ab. Therefore, a sigma equals sigma d x one d x two e tilde i three E tilde three I display style a underscore sigma equals in underscore sigma dx carrot one dx carrot two sqrt tilde e underscore I carrot three tilde e carrot three I. According to the rules of canonical quantization, we should promote the triads E tilde I three. Display style tilde e underscore i carrot three to quantum operators e tilde carrot i three 
delta delta a 3 i display style hat tilde e underscore i caret 3 sim delta over delta a underscore 3 caret i it turns out that the area a sigma display style a underscore sigma can be promoted to a well-defined quantum operator despite the fact that we are dealing with product of two functional derivatives and worse we have a square root to contend with as well. Putting n equals 2 j display style n equals 2 j we talk of being in the jth representation. We know that i t i T I equals J J plus one one display style sum underscore I T carrot I T carrot I equals J J plus one one. This quantity is important in the final formula for the area spectrum. We simply state the result below. A carrot Sigma W Gamma A equals eight Pi P L A N C K two Beta I J I J I Plus one W Gamma A Display style hat a underscore sigma W underscore gamma a equals eight pi L underscore plank carrot two beta sum underscore I SQRT J underscore I J underscore I plus one W underscore gamma a where the sum is over all edges I Display style I of the Wilson loop that pierce the surface sigma display style sigma the formula for the volume of a region r display style i is given by v equals r d 3 x det q equals one six R D X three E A B C E I J K E tilde I A E tilde J B E tilde k c display style v equals in underscore r d caret three x sqrt det q equals one over six in underscore r d x caret three sqrt epsilon underscore a b c epsilon caret i j k tilde e underscore i caret a tilde e underscore j caret b tilde e underscore k caret c the quantization of the volume proceeds the same way as with the area. As we take the derivative, and each time we do so we bring down the tangent vector gamma a display style dot gamma caret a when the volume operator acts on non-intersecting Wilson loops the result vanishes. Quantum states with non-zero volume must therefore involve intersections. Given that the anti-symmetric summation is taken over in the formula for the volume we would need at least intersections with three non-coplanar lines. Actually it turns out that one needs at least four valent vertices for the volume operator to be non-vanishing. <laughs> Mandelstam identities, Su Yang-Mills We now consider Wilson loops with intersections. We assume the real representation where the gauge group is S U 
2 display style su 2 Wilson loops are an overcomplete basis as there are identities relating different Wilson loops. These come about from the fact that Wilson loops are based on matrices, the holonomy, and these matrices satisfy identities, the so-called Mandelstam identities. See Mandelstam variables. Given any two s u two display style su two matrices. Display style math bound a and b display style math bound b. It is easy to check that tr a tr b equals tr a b plus tr a b minus one display style operator name tr math bound a operator name tr math bound b equals operator name tr math bound a math bound b plus operator name tr math bound a math bound b caret minus one. This implies that given two loops gamma display style gamma and eta display style eta that intersect we will have w gamma a w eta a equals w gamma eta a plus w gamma eta minus 1 Display style W underscore gamma A W underscore Ata R equals W underscore gamma circ Ata R plus W underscore gamma circ Ata carrot minus one R whereby Ata minus one Display style Ata carrot minus one We mean the loop Ata Display style Ata Traversed in the opposite direction and gamma eta display style gamma circ eta means the loop obtained by going around the loop gamma display style gamma and then along eta display style eta. See figure below. This is called a Mandelstam identity of the second kind. There is the Mandelstam identity of the first kind W gamma one gamma two equals W gamma two gamma one Display style W gamma underscore one circ gamma underscore two equals W gamma underscore two circ gamma underscore one Spin networks are certain linear combinations of intersecting Wilson loops designed to address the over-completeness introduced by the Mandelstam identities. Topic: <laughs> Spin network states. In fact, spin networks constitute a basis for all gauge invariant functions which minimize the degree of overcompleteness of the loop basis, and for trivalent intersections eliminate it entirely. As mentioned above, the holonomy tells you how to propagate test spin half particles. A spin network state assigns an amplitude to a set of spin half particles tracing out a path in space, merging and splitting. These are described by spin networks. Gamma Display style gamma. The edges are labeled by spins together with backquote intertwiners at the vertices, which are prescription for how to sum over different ways the spins are rerouted. The sum over rerouting are chosen as such to make the form of the intertwiner invariant under Gauss gauge transformations. Topic: <laughs> Uniqueness of the loop representation in LQG. 
theorems establishing the uniqueness of the loop representation as defined by Ashtakar et al., i.e. a certain concrete realization of a Hilbert space and associated operators reproducing the correct loop algebra, the realization that everybody was using have been given by two groups Lewandowski, Okolo, Salman and Thiemann and Christian Fleischick. Before this result was established it was not known whether there could be other examples of Hilbert spaces with operators invoking the same loop algebra, other realizations, not equivalent to the one that had been used so far. Knot <laughs> theory and loops in topological field theory A common method of describing a knot or link, which are knots of several components entangled with each other, is to consider its projected image onto a plane called a knot diagram. Any given knot or link can be drawn in many different ways using a knot diagram. Therefore, a fundamental problem in knot theory is determining when two descriptions represent the same knot. Given a knot diagram, one tries to find a way to assign a knot invariant to it, sometimes a polynomial called a knot polynomial. Two knot diagrams with different polynomials generated by the same procedure necessarily correspond to different knots. However, if the polynomials are the same, it may not mean that they correspond to the same knot. The better a polynomial is at distinguishing knots the more powerful it is. In 1984, Jones announced the discovery of a new link invariant, which soon led to a bewildering profusion of generalizations. He had found a new knot polynomial, the Jones polynomial. Specifically, it is an invariant of an oriented knot or link which assigns to each oriented knot or link a polynomial with integer coefficients. In the late 1980s, Witten coined the term topological quantum field theory for a certain type of physical theory in which the expectation values of observable quantities are invariant under diffeomorphisms. Witten gave a heuristic derivation of the Jones polynomial and its generalizations from Chern-Simons theory. The basic idea is simply that the vacuum expectation values of Wilson loops in Chern-Simons theory are link invariants because of the diffeomorphism invariance of the theory. To calculate these expectation values, however, Witten needed to use the relation between Chern-Simons theory and a conformal field theory known as the West-Zumino-Witten model or the WZW model. 